What is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous video for Pokemon Go, and today we're talking about a brand new, not really exclusive, but I'm gonna call it exclusive event on the terms of how you gotta do it. That's right, you heard right, a new event was announced for Pokemon Go, and it's kind of like a community day. But it's a little bit more exclusive, as in it includes one aspect we have had on one community day once before, and it's the only aspect. What I mean by that is, once upon a time on Squirtle Community Day, we had uh, sunglass squirtle encounters through poke stops and tasks. Now Niantic has brought that same idea back and they're doing it with Feebas. But before we get uh, into those details, let's read over their press release. Uh, uh, yes, so. Trainers, it's time to put your research skills to work and collect field research that looks closely at certain Pokemon species. Let's do some limited research. While the water type Pokemon Feebas may not look like much, there's plenty to learn about the fish Pokemon. Spin the photo discs at nearby Pokestops to obtain field research tasks that will lead to encounters with Phoebus. And if you're lucky, you might just find a shiny one. This event runs much like Community Day, so you have uh, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and India on January 19th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. UTC. Then you have us next, the Americas and Greenland on January 19th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. PST. And then last but not least, Asia Pacific, January 20th from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. JST. This event will feature limited research tasks, as we mentioned, when you spin photo discs at Pokestops. We will get further into what speculation we have of what that may be. So far, that's the only deets and features. Phoebus migrate quickly during limited research, so exploring is key. As long as you've collected the limited research during the event window, you can complete, at, complete it at any time. Don't forget you'll need to venture onward to many Pokestops in order to get new field research tasks and encounter as many Phoebus as possible. We're looking forward to seeing you out in the field. Stay safe and happy exploring. As always, the Pokemon Go team. So, uh, pretty exciting, you know. Uh, I really do actually like this event. Uh, it is, as they mentioned right at the end, it is completely targeted at the original idea of this game, which is to go out to spin stops and discover new places. I don't need any coin, I don't need anything but my walking shoes, and that's perfect. So to give you an example, uh, let's show you. You can't necessarily go to a park like this. Okay, so park like this, not gonna really work out very well because you only got one stop. That stop's gonna give you your research and you're gonna be done. You gotta keep moving on. So an area like this with constant stops surrounding you so you can keep walking and collecting that's gonna be your best bet. And you might even have to keep moving on. So I'm pretty sure you get it. So as I said, put on those walking shoes, tie up those laces, and make sure you've got the proper gear on, a lot of battery life with you, and get out and walk, 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 walk. It's not work, 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 work this time, it's walk, 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 walk. So let's take a closer look at uh, Shiny Phoebus and Shiny Melodic. Uh, gorgeous Pokemon. Uh, Shiny Melodic is gorgeous on its own originally, but uh, even more gorgeous with the Shiny. Uh, I do love the purple Phoebus. It is so cute. I like that it changed from this kind of muddy brown uh, to this lovely little purple. So I'm very excited to catch these. But let's get into some speculation. Uh, there has been some speculation. I'm gonna throw out some of my own as well, but I'm just gonna read the list of what we have heard so far in speculation for this. So we all know that it starts on the 19th. There's a speculation that the uh, increased spawns could be a different type of water types and a majority of Gen 3 Pokemon. The fact that it is also a migrating event, we could also see some regionals migrating once again that we don't currently have. 
I'm suspecting that maybe along with it, because it's a water thing, we could finally see Clamperl, which would give us Grobus and Huntail, and those are ones that we've been waiting for for a while. I also kind of forgot to mention that there could be a, a appearance of two other Pokemon that are very migration oriented in the fact that there are two different forms uh, appointed to the east and the west. So you have Shellos, and we have an east and a west form. It does evolve into Gastrodon, and what as of course it has its own east and west form as well. So once again, you know, like we see with Minin and Plusle, Zangoose and Saviper, the east and west kind of uh, regions of the world. So we could see them as well. I totally forgot to put that in here, but uh, just wanted to insert that real quick. So let's get back to this as easy as we can. We could even see something brand new in the special research. This is all vast and wide rumor and speculation. As for the tasks, uh, like I said, I would I would assume we're not going to be seeing, uh, we're probably not going to be seeing Wild Phoebus at all, and a majority of the tasks are going to pertain to catching a certain type of Pokemon, a certain amount of Pokemon, uh, majority water, I'm going to assume, so you're going to be seeing a lot of water type spawns, and I would assume because Phoebus is Gen 3, also uh, increased of Gen 3 spawns as well. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed because they say migrate. We've seen it once before. It has happened twice before. So I'm really hoping that we could get some migration of some regionals, uh, specifically Lunatone and Solrock once again, maybe, and then Volbeat and Illumise. I would love to finally get my hands on a Volbeat. Could be, but definitely would be exciting. So once again, that is all speculation. Uh, so don't get your hopes too high and don't count me for any of this unless it ends up being true, then I was the one who said it along with probably a couple other YouTubers. But once again, get ready on January 19th. Look at the website, the link will be down below for your specific region and your specific time. Mine is 11 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. So I will be ready. We got a full week. We got community day tomorrow, which I'm gonna go live for. So we've got that to go on and then we got a whole nother week before the Phoebus day. So super exciting. I actually am excited about this event. It is, like I said, it's not a money grab. It is the true intention of this game is to get out, spin photo discs, explore, and go further and further and further. So I'm really excited to do that. Who knows? Quite literally, maybe we will discover a place we haven't before. It does happen. But anyways, uh, we're gonna close it up here. That's about all the information we have about it so far. Uh, if anything new comes up before I have uh, finished editing this, uh, we'll put it in right here. And then uh, if not, then uh, we're obviously going to continue. So please scroll down and give me that like if you got value out of this. Let me know how excited you are for Phoebus Community Day. Let me know uh, what your hopes are for it, what your predictions are for it. And maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!